All right, hello everybody, and welcome to Vegan Cooking 101. I'm really excited to have you here tonight with us. Um, my name is Janessa Botticelli. I am the writer and amateur kitchen chemist behind um, Uh Oh, It's Vegan, and um, the blog Uh Oh, It's Vegan. You can go online and find that at Uh Oh, It's Vegan dot com if you would like to see any recipes um, or just look at my crazy cooking adventures on there um, but I would like to really thank the Kingsport Seventh-day Adventist Church for sponsoring tonight's um, well not just tonight but this whole series tonight tomorrow and the day after um, I really always enjoy doing these series finding a new topic learning new things and then I get to share it with all of you so, um, so yeah, thank you so much. And uh, let's see. Uh, so before we get into everything, I would just like to open with a quick prayer. So if you'd just bow your heads with me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for bringing us all together tonight. Thank you for providing such amazing different tastes and textures for us to experience and try. Um, please help everyone to learn something new tonight and uh, give me the right words to say as well. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So normally I start with a few facts about uh, our topic, but this time we're going to jump into the recipe first and we're going to do um, some, uh, some facts and questions afterwards, okay? Because we're going to have to wait for our dish to cool down a bit and we're going to have some interactive things happening tonight so um, <laughs> but throughout this whole series it's all about oats so we're going to be learning a little bit about um, the different kinds of oats what oats are kind of made up of and how it helps our bodies um, function well okay um, tonight's recipe that we're making is easy oat sausage patties and I really love these patties. I actually don't really buy my patties at the store very much anymore, like maybe for an emergency meal, you know, like, oh no, there's really nothing. But usually I have these in the, uh, the freezer and they freeze really nicely. They keep for a long time and you can heat them up in the oven or on the stove. I personally like to use the toaster oven the best. Um, and yeah, they're really nice for a quick go meal, or you could even take them to a cookout. You know, if you have family and friends, they want to have a, a grill cookout, you could uh, take them to that as well. So, we'll jump right into it here. Um, we actually have enough people here tonight where I'm going to make a double batch of the demo, which I don't usually do, because each of you are going to be able to take home your own patty and... Uh, You'll get to try them here tonight, but if you want, you can even have your uh, family try it at home, too. So, um, Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do, <clears throat> we're doing a double batch. So um, normally you put in two cups of water. I've already got some water in here heated up. I figured we didn't want to wait for that. So I'm just going to start it boiling again. Turn that up a bit. There we go. And uh, we're going to, well, first I'm going to put on my gloves. <laughs> there we go. And then the first thing that I like to do, I like to put in all of the spices and things into the water first. Um, so we're going to start by doing that. And it doesn't have to be hot already for you to do that. Um, I just heated it up so we didn't need to wait for the, uh, for the oats to cook so much. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take, uh, and we're going to put some soy sauce in there. And this is gluten free actually, so I'm using liquid aminos tonight. Um, and uh, you, uh, you can also get gluten-free teriyaki sauce as well. Um, or they do sell gluten-free soy sauce. You just have to be careful and look at the label too. So right now I'm going to put in 
Each batch makes um, eight patties. So tonight we're making 16. All right, so we're gonna put half a cup of that in there. So for one batch, it's uh, four tablespoons or one-fourth of a cup. Same thing. <laughs> if you didn't know, now you know. There's four tablespoons in, a, in the fourth of a cup. <laughs> All right, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do, um, for one batch, it would be two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to do four. And just pour that right in there. Okay, and then let's see, next we've got agave. And agave nectar is a really nice sweetener that you can use instead of um, sugar. Um, it's still, I mean, it's still sweet. So. <laughs> but, uh, yes. Okay, so we've got, so I'm going to do two tablespoons of that. And I'm going to actually need my nifty little, I love my little spatula, it's so cute. I'm going to need that to get it all out in there. There we go. Next we've got our onion powder. So I'm going to grab this and we're going to want four teaspoons, usually two teaspoons for a single batch. And if you aren't used to measuring, this is what, this is an even measure right here. You can see it. it's level with the, um, the plastic of the spoon there. If you go high, it's called heaping. And if you go under, then you're doing a scant measurement. So what you want to do is you want to do an even measurement right there if you want to get the flavor uh, the way, the right way. Sometimes I, I do do heaping though anyway, but you know, that's me. I was, I'm always like, a little more, you know, it can't hurt. <laughs> so that's two, three, and four. All right. And next we've got our sage. We're going to do two of these. Crushed thyme. I like thyme. I like to put that in my garden. Do any of you guys have an herb garden? No? I don't have one yet, but I'm, I'm planning it. <laughs> and thyme's definitely in there. Thyme and basil. I love basil. 